Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about using CSS selectors. The CSS selectors allow you to select a specific element inside of your HTML file. Now, I'm over here at this index.html file, and generally, if you'd want to select an HTML element and style it, all you'd have to do is just come down to the element. So, for example, this h1. And I can basically just say style is equal to, and then inside of here, I can put whatever style I want, right? I can define whatever CSS styling I want inside of this H1 element. So I can just directly select that element and give it some styling. The problem is when I head over to my style.css file, suddenly I can't just directly like put that style tag inside of whatever tag I want, right? I have to use what's called a selector in order to select the specific HTML tag that I want from inside of my CSS. So selectors in CSS are extremely important, especially if you want to start writing your CSS in these external files. And there's a bunch of different ways that we can select elements. So you could select like all the elements on the screen, or you could just select a very, very specific HTML element that's embedded in some like list somewhere. Selectors are super powerful and they allow you to literally select any element no matter what. So in this video, I'm gonna show you all the different ways that you can use these CSS selectors. I'm gonna introduce you into some of the really popular ones and then I'll show you a place you can go to get a reference sheet to reference all of the available selectors in CSS. So the most basic type of selectors and the selectors that you're probably gonna be using the most are IDs and classes. So if I assign an ID to a particular element or I assign a class to a particular element, I can access or I can select that element using the ID or the class name. So for example, I have an element inside of this HTML file called my ID. So if I wanted to color this, I could just give this a background color of yellow. So we'll basically just be highlighting the element. So now this my ID element is gonna get highlighted, right? You can see it up here. I also have a couple classes, so I have class one, and instead of using this hashtag, we're gonna use a dot to refer to a class. And you can see this paragraph has class one on it. I also have another one called class two, and that's just this entire section down here. So you can use classes and IDs to select specific tags that you've given those classes or IDs to. You can also just select all the elements on the screen. So I can just type out this asterisk, and this will select everything in the HTML file. So you see, not only is it selecting these individual attributes, but it's just selecting the entirety of the HTML file. So every element that's on the screen. And you can also just refer to elements by their name. So if I wanted to select all the H1s, I could just say H1, and this will select any H1s. I could say H2, and this will select any H2s. I can also select H1s and H2s. So I can use this comma, and then I can type H1, and now it'll select both of these. I could add in like a paragraph to here as well. And it'll basically select any of the items that you list in this comma separated list. And you can get a little bit fancier with this. So for example, I could say, I wanna select any list items that are inside of an unordered list. So I could say unordered list greater than sign and then list items. And now this should select all of these list items down here because they're inside of an unordered list. You could also select an element that's placed directly after another element. So here we have this paragraph and then right after it we have this header two. So I could say paragraph and then a plus sign and then a header two. And this will select any of the header twos that occur directly after a paragraph. And you can see it's just this one. Now you can also select certain elements that have certain HTML properties. So if I go to this index.html file, an HTML property would be something like this href right here on this link or you can see down here we have this title, it's saying the title is lemons. Those are all HTML properties, or you can also call them like HTML attributes. So I can define an attribute inside of here, I could say like title. So this will select any elements that has a title, and it's just this lemons list item down here. Or I could select anything with an href, so this could be like this image over here. So it's basically selecting elements that have these particular properties or attributes. And you can actually check to see if certain elements have certain attributes. So for example, I could check to see if I have a list item that has a title equal to lemons. And this will select this lemons attribute down here. So you can get really specific with these uh, attribute selectors. You could also just get more broad with them. So I could say like any title that 
contains like the phrase lem for example and you actually need an equal sign there and this will select this lemons as well so you can use this asterisk to like make it more of a fuzzy find and you can also check uh attributes for inputs so i have a couple inputs down here you see i have this checkbox and i have this text box so i can actually set specific css attributes depending on whether or not those are like active or checked so i can say input colon checked and this will apply to any input tags that are currently checked so for example this text box down here and actually we can give this a box shadow just so it's more visible and we'll just give it two pixels two pixels two pixels and red so now when i check this input box you'll see that it has this box shadow on it right there and when i uncheck it the box shadow goes away i can also just apply this to um, a text box so it, if the text box was focused in then this same would apply so when i click on this text box you can see that it gets that box shadow and it also gets that background of yellow text and i could just do this more generally for inputs so both inputs now would have this checkbox or would have this shadow on them and i could actually check uh specific so i could say like i want an input that has the type equal to checkbox and i only want to select it when it's checked so now it's only going to select this checkbox but only when it's focused in so it's not going to do this text box so you can get like i said really specific with these things we can also apply some styling to something that's getting hovered so for example i could say h2 colon hover and now this styling will apply to any attributes that are getting hovered over so when i hover over fruits it gets that yellow background because it's an h2 in addition to stuff like this we can also select different children so um generally in html you'd have like a parent attribute and then a parent attribute would have a bunch of like children assigned to it and this list item or this unordered list is a perfect example of that so i can say unordered list and the list item inside of it and i can i want to grab the first child so this will select the first item in this list which is apples i can also say last child and it'll select the last item in the list or i could actually say nth last child and then i can pass this an argument so i could pass this like a two and this will grab the second to last uh list item or i could pass it like a three and it'll grab the third to last you get the idea so those are some of the common css selectors that you're going to use and honestly you're not even going to need to use these that much probably but the point is is that they're available to you and css allows you to select basically any element that you can think of on an html file as long as you're able to specify it rigorously enough over here i have a website open it's w3schools.com and it's just this page on css selector so it's w3schools.com forward slash css ref forward slash css underscore selectors and this page has a full listing of all of the selectors that you can use and it has you know just descriptions on how to use all of them so i went through a bunch of these today but you know what you should do is come over here check this uh little table out it really honestly just is a full listing of everything that you can do and you can kind of try these out and do exactly what i did right so define a you know basic html file and then just play around with selecting different elements from that html file Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.